If you're trying to upload custom fonts to show it and are feeling a little frustrated, don't worry because I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and it's so easy. I'm Melissa of Superhero Design and I help ambitious women launch bold brands online. Well, let's get to the video. So first and foremost, under Media Library, um, I'm going to make sure that I have a font uploaded. In this case, we're going to use Adorn Story script as an example. Since I already have it uploaded, it is the WOFF file. So I'm going to, sorry, click out of there, and then I'm going to go to Design Settings. And under the Fonts tab, I am going to go under Custom Fonts here. I'm going to select Adorn Story. I'm going to name it Adorn Story. Click on Add Custom Font. The name already exists because I already added it, but as you can see, it's over here to the right at the very top, Adorn Story. And then if I wanted to add it um, to my site style, I would go over and click on the tab Site Style, and then I could change you know, all of my headings to Adorn Story here. I don't actually want to do that, so I'm gonna click on Cancel, and I'm gonna close without saving, and then, in here, it should update most of your headings. Some uh, fonts, excuse me, some fonts can be um, changed manually, so they might be changed manually in your template as well. So you can select it, and then under text style, you can just choose the font over here and change it if it doesn't automatically update. So I just selected Adorn Story, and I can change, you know, the size of it and whatnot as well. But I'm going to undo that. And that is how to change your fonts to custom fonts.